Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. I had a lot of plans for this week but I've been, well, I've been really low energy at the moment. Um, it's been a bit of a week uh, considering it's been extremely cold. I've had some really bad flare-ups which have massively affected my work and instead of like being able to spend hours upon hours on a piece to be able to film it for a video unfortunately this week I just haven't been able to and since I've been doing February every single day this week I thought it'd be really good just to film one or two of them and maybe tell you a story about them it's obviously not going to be the most fabulous fantastic over-the-top video um, I had a lot of plans that I wanted to do for this week and unfortunately they have just gone and that is completely okay. As a full-time artist you're gonna have those off days and as a full-time artist with chronic illnesses unfortunately some days are just better than others. For this prompt it was the word mechanical and I couldn't stop thinking of mechanical fairy wings and the idea maybe a fairy was injured and their body has been reworked to carry these mechanical wings or is it a person who um, wanted to fly and created these me mechanical fairy wings and a lot of ideas sort of flowed around my head for this and for February this year I have been massively inspired by Arthur Rackham's work so trying to use a lot of his elements and styling as well as the colour palette into my work. So for what you see here I am just styling my own version of like a steampunk style Tinkerbell and the more I drew this the more I thought what would her story be. So I think it'd be perfect to tell you the tale of the clockwork fairy. In her prime she was possibly one of the fier fiercest warriors that is around her time. In a time where magic and machinery often clashed with one another she was often found like trying to up the patriarchy so to speak, flitting around sort of trying her best to make magic be known and unfortunately on one fateful day she got gravely injured and parts of her were replaced with the thing that she hated most and that was that machinery, that whirring, that clockwork, that forever ticking that she fought so hard to be up against. Clara knew one thing, despite what this machinery had gifted her she was never going to stop for the cause. Magic had to be up to torn. Magic had to be forever remembered. It could never be forgotten. So even though she now bears what mechanical wonders are before her, she will never forget her cause. And that's what Clara fights for. The fight for her magic to never be forgotten. So that's sort of my, my idea of that and I when I'm thinking of like drawing like character designs she is uh, I knew I wanted to be fierce to be powerful but to have this moment of weakness to sort of be like looking at what is now before her and that's sort of why she has like the mechanical leg the mechanical arm and the mechanical wing almost as if that entire left side was completely injured in an accident that well, changed her life. She was fighting for a good cause, but even then, that good cause, she still got injured and she still will fight to this day. And though some may see her as, look, this, look at what machinery can do, look at the magic that it can bring, this is what we're fighting to protect. She's fighting to protect what's most important to her. I like to think of character designs when I'm designing characters that don't particularly have a story. Um, I like to give them a story because it makes their character seem like they have a lot more life to me. It makes them feel like they have, well, a lot more to them. And I guess because I've been sort of in that headspace of like, well, 
so quite frankly, my chronic illnesses getting me down. I really wanted to draw something that sort of represented that to me. And that's how Clara came to be. She's a clockwork mechanical fairy who even though this is something that she fights so against, she appreciates it for what it is, but will never stop for what she believes in and for what she wants to bring to light. I don't know. I just like to sort of think of this like sort of cool concept character ideas and character arcs for characters um almost in a way that this could be used in sort of like a D D steampunk setting which would be so so cool like the sort of idea of like uh, people whose disabilities are um well they don't bring them down they help bring them up and um i think there's something that i really strive for like it doesn't change it well it changes a person's life but it's a part of them it is who they are and when I'm having my down weeks like this it's quite difficult to get out of that headspace and it's very difficult to sort of well (laughs) get over it this entire week has just been a complete write-off and I'm probably being a bit of a down here but it, it just it made me think and it made me try even though I'm trying to change a lot of things about my lifestyle also understand my limitations because you know sometimes you're gonna have limitations I really like to draw some like really cutesy valentine's themed art um but I just couldn't sit down for more than two hours to work it was just very difficult and when I did I was in so much pain that my brain wasn't concentrating on things February has been really, really good for me because especially this week, it has been very difficult for me to work, but it's given me something to do each day that I've gone, okay, I have to do this today. And some days I will sketch the next day. So then all I have to do is the line work and the quick painting and it doesn't take me too long. Now I have been showing these up on uh, TikTok uh, every single uh, day so if you do want to see like the video sort of behind the scenes in the making you're more than welcome to. Uh, Patreons this month are actually going to be getting a zine of all the illustrations with a specific Patreon variant cover that will not be available to the general public. Uh, The general public will have a different version of the zine that will go up on the store in March with the March store update Um, but but Patreons will get that as well as exclusive stickers for the month and prints too so I've sort of wanted to give them like a sneak you know <laughs> they get a little bit extra um this month as a thank you and that's because the, this was the Patreon theme this challenge month would not be available if the Patreons hadn't chosen for it I have to thank them for that because they've given me a fun challenge this month that if I'm honest, I've really been enjoying doing. All the illustrations aren't perfect, they're far from it, but I'm working with a colour palette that I've never worked before, I'm trying to emulate a style that I've never worked with before, and I'm having an awful lot of fun with it. Just sort of a message for anyone who has off days, and know that you are going to struggle, and you are going to have off days, but it's going to be okay, you do get through them. And even if you manage to just do nothing but do a little sketch that day, you've done something and you should be very proud of yourself. And even if you don't get around to that, even if all you did was tidy your desk for that day or straightened up something or um, counted stock or like even something as simple as making plans to do a project, that is okay. You have done something for that day. It is difficult as a full-time artist to take the sort of time to say, I need to take it a little bit slower today because of X, Y, Z. Like, you, ha- it, it's taking breaks. It's very difficult to take a break when, you know, your whole life revolves around this. Like, if I don't do art, I don't make money. Like, it's matter of fact. And it is difficult because some weeks I don't want to do it. Like, I, I don't want to draw all the time. But in those days, I don't feel like drawing. I will do something that may not be drawing but something related to work and I'm going to talk about more that in my vlog this month because I think it's a very important thing to touch on especially considering 
it is challenging and it is difficult but you know challenges are challenges we just gotta rise through them <laughs> clara is possibly one of my more favorite designs i really want to elaborate her design after february because this was just so much fun to do and that muted palette just makes everything so much better so thank you so much for watching this video like i appreciate every single one of you watching videos talking in discord commenting liking everything like that it really makes my day and i don't think you realize how much i appreciate every single one of you thank you so much for watching this video i hope you all have an absolutely wonderful week see you on the stream on sunday and as always folks stay creative